The company in Scott County plans to break ground this fall on a project that turns food waste into fuel. WCCO's Caroline Cummings explains how it can take thousands of tons of trash and turn it into a clean energy treasure. Hundreds of thousands of tons of trash moves through the Ramsey Washington Recycling and Energy Center each year. But the goal is to keep as much of it as possible away from the landfill. We have programs to help people upstream, but also we're looking at what can we pull out of the waste stream. 24% of what households throw away in the trash is food waste. That's more than any other single material that ends up in a landfill. If it rots there, it decays and emits methane, a powerful greenhouse gas. It's why this Newport, Minnesota facility hopes an ambitious new project will cut down on the impact on our climate. And that's a really exciting concept to us, to take something that would otherwise sit in a landfill and get a beneficial use out of it. This is the site of a future $100 million project to turn food waste into renewable energy through a process known as anaerobic digestion. Demcon Companies in Shakopee is taking it on in partnership with Ramsey Washington Recycling and Energy and others. It reduces emissions by 30,000 tons of CO2e per year and 900,000 tons over the 30-year life of the facility. To see just how anaerobic digestion works, we traveled an hour south to Lesur, where they've been putting it into practice for a decade. We saw the opportunity with all the feedstocks that were in the community. We saw the need uh, and the importance of reducing overall carbon emissions from electricity. And we want to really prove up that concept. Steve Grove, asset manager with Hometown Bioenergy, says they have proven the concept. Local farmers bring them leftover animal feed, like this corn silage, and then they give it a new purpose. We fit into the natural life cycle of the agricultural community. All these products, these processes already exist, right? We've inserted ourselves into the middle of it and have been able to extract energy out of it. Instead of food waste languishing in a landfill, bacteria breaks down organic waste in a large airtight container like this one. It starts here. The plant will on average process over 100,000 tons of feedstock every year. Wow. Those several tons of nearby farm waste end up in one of these tanks to get just the right recipe. Kind of like more like a hot tub temperature, actually. I wouldn't recommend taking a hot tub in it. Before traveling to this digester, when the biological process begins, the byproduct roughly a month later, biogas. What's produced here, enough to power about 3,000 homes every year. The amount of carbon that would have been emitted from all these products, we're able to bring those down to less than, what, than, less than zero. So we're in some ways, we're better than carbon free. Biogas is roughly 60% methane and 40% carbon dioxide, but a purification process can transform biogas into renewable natural gas, which can be used as fuel. So anaerobic digestion has uh, so many um, environmental benefits. Bo Hugh, professor at the University of Minnesota, studies bioprocess development. Europe has been leading the way with anaerobic digestion, but he says Minnesota's robust agriculture production primes it for expanding the process here. And the legislature approved a law providing a framework for utilities to reduce greenhouse gas emissions this way. So we are actually uh, very pioneering among either other states in terms of renewable natural gas development. Demcon and Ramsey Washington Recycling and Energy hope to be among the first to blaze that trail. It's overall a winning situation and a really great example of the amazing things that we can do with a pile of garbage. Caroline Cummings, WCCO News. Demcon will break ground on the anaerobic digestion site this fall. It is expected to open in 2028.